गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल साइंस विद हेमंत राठौर इन अवर प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ द केमिकल रिएक्शन हैज बीन बैलेंस्ड एंड वी हैव टेकन द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ आयरन वेन आयरन रिएक्ट विद स्टीम इट विल फॉर्म एफ ई थ्री ओ फोर एंड हाइड्रोजन गैस एंड यस्टरडे आई ऑलरेडी गिवन वन क्वेश्चन टू यू टू सॉल्व वेन एल्यूमिनियम सल्फेट रिएक्ट विद बेरियम क्लोराइड देन इट विल फॉर्म एल्यूमिनियम क्लोराइड प्लस बेरियम सल्फेट देन हाउ दिस रिएक्शन कैन बी बैलेंस्ड सो आई एम श्योर यू हैव टू डू बैलेंस दैट पर्टिकुलर केमिकल इक्वेशन बट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग माई नेक्स्ट चैप्टर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक आई वॉन्ट टू बैलेंस दैट इक्वेशन वंस अगेन इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू सो अवर क्वेश्चन वॉज This is our equation. Barium chloride reacts with aluminium sulfate. It will give us aluminium chloride plus barium sulfate. It was our question. Now, how to balance it? The answer will be barium chloride. The formula of barium chloride BaCl2 plus aluminium sulfate. Formula of aluminium sulfate L2 SO4 whole thrice. it will gives aluminum chloride alcl3 plus barium sulfate baso4 now this is our skeletal equation and when we go according to heat and trial method then we will balance it here three sulfate ion is present so we have to make sulfate here also three so we will multiply by three In front of BaSO4, now barium become three. Here barium is one, so we will multiply by three in left hand side. And now chlorine, chlorine become three to the six, and here our chlorine is only three. Then we have to multiply by two. Now if we count the number of atoms in both the side, reactant side and product side, we will see that. the number of atoms present in reactant side is equal to number of atoms present in the product side so this is our answer of given question now we will go towards our today's topic types of chemical reaction so some of the reactions are written in front of you in the topic types of chemical reaction we will see this following reaction and we will also see the description of this all the reactions first one is combination reaction second is exothermic reaction third one is decomposition reaction fourth one is endothermic reaction fifth one is displacement reaction sixth one is double displacement reaction and last one is oxidation and reduction reaction we will see this all the reactions one by one in that particular topic so first we will discuss combination reaction you can take the screenshot of this particular content so my dear students the first type of reaction is combination reaction combination reaction means a reaction in which a single product is formed from two or more reactants is known as combination reaction combination means when we combine something you know when we combine two things then it will make a single thing like that so as it is If two or more than two substances will be react with each other, they will form a single product. This type of reaction is called combination reaction. The general equation or general formula for that particular reaction is A plus B gives us C, where A and B both are reactants and C is the product. Now. to explain this particular reaction i will take one example but this example i will explain with the help of activity activity number 1.4 first point is take a small amount of calcium oxide or quick lime in a beaker you will take a beaker simple beaker you know very well you have seen in laboratory like that this type of beaker Take a small amount of calcium oxide or quick lime in a beaker. This calcium oxide and quick lime both are same thing. And slowly add water to this. Touch the beaker. Do you feel any change in temperature? 
we have seen when we paint that particular calcium oxide at our home same when we mix with water this then what happened the temperature of that particular vessel will be increased so after that the temperature will be increased and when this calcium oxide react with water it will form calcium hydroxide the another name of calcium oxide is quick lime and the another name of calcium hydroxide is slag lime some of the example we will see right now in this both the examples first example is coal we know that it is the allotrop of carbon when coal burn in the presence of air it form co2 coal it is defined by c carbon plus oxygen it will form carbon dioxide we know that in this reaction two reactants are combined with each other and form a single product so it is the example of combination reaction and second one is hydrogen reacts with oxygen in the presence of electricity it form water so in this both the reaction single compound is formed by the reaction of two reactants so these are the example of combination reaction now we are going towards our next type of reaction that is exothermic reaction so next type of chemical reaction is exothermic reaction the reactions in which heat is released along with the formation of products are called exothermic chemical reaction here exothermic it is made by two words exo plus thermic where exothermic exo means come out and thermic means heat so the reaction or the process in which heat is coming from that particular chemical process is called exothermic reaction for example first one burning of natural gas methane so this natural gas is also known as methane when methane will be reacted with oxygen or methane will burn in the presence of oxygen it will produce carbon dioxide plus water it is also called gaseous fuel next one is respiration reactions respiration reaction means the reaction in which glucose c6h12o6 will be break down into carbon dioxide and water in the presence of oxygen is called respiration reaction and where it takes place it takes place in our cell in cell is it clear respiration reaction takes place inside the body and because of this respiration reaction we are getting energy if you are eating the food in which carbohydrate is present in more amount this carbohydrate will be break down into simple sugar like glucose and this glucose will be break down into carbon dioxide and water and produce lot of energy and because of this our body can work and the last one is the decomposition of vegetable matter into compost so when the compost will be formed in the agricultural field this reaction will takes place that is called exothermic reaction we know that when we are making compost from the uh, that particular cow dung etc and we will mix the vegetable and put into the compost pit then what when we open the particular uh, door then we are getting lot of heat from inside so we can say that it also come in the category of exothermic reaction now i want to ask one more question can you give one more example of combination reaction yes in activity number 1.1 we are we watch about magnesium and oxygen when magnesium will react with oxygen it will produce magnesium oxide it is also another example of combination reaction now you uh, we will go towards our next uh, chemical reaction that is decomposition reaction you can take the screenshot of this given content so my dear students our third reaction is decomposition reaction as uh, from this name you are getting some of the hints 
decomposition. It is made by two words, D and composition. It means breakdown. So a reaction in which a single reactant breaks down to give two or more than two products. This type of reaction is called decomposition reaction. If you want to write the general equation for this particular reaction, then we can write A will be change into B plus C where A is a reactant, single reactant and B and C both are products. So this is the simple general equation for the decomposition reaction. Now we are going towards an example of this particular reaction. Activity number 1.5. Take out 2 gram iron sulfate or ferrous sulfate crystals in a dry boiling tube. Note the color of the ferrous sulfate crystals. Heat the boiling tube over the flame of a burner or a spray flame. Now observe the color of the crystals after heating. So, ferrous sulfate. Ferrous sulfate is one of the chemical compound which is a green color crystal. So, the formula of ferrous sulfate is FeSO4. Ferrous sulfate. This ferrous sulfate when we will heat. When we will heat. It will be converted into Fe2O3 The name of this compound is Ferric Oxide It is solid substance Plus Sulfur Dioxide Plus Sulfur Trioxide So one single substance Ferrous Sulfate will be heat in a boiling tube after the heating this ferrous sulfate will be dissociated into Fe2O3 ferric oxide plus sulfur dioxide plus sulfur trioxide this reaction indicates the decomposition reaction and this reaction takes place in the presence of heat so this reaction is also called thermal decomposition reaction what it is called it is called thermal decomposition reaction now we will see the type of decomposition reaction in our next content you can take the screenshot of this particular content right now so my dear students now we will see the types of decomposition reaction we know that decomposition reaction means the reaction in which single reactant will be dissociate or decomposed into two or more than two products now we will see the first type of decomposition reaction is thermal or heat decomposition reaction the reaction which takes place in the presence of heat it is called thermal decomposition reaction for example we will see activity number 1.6 in activity number 1.6 when you see then we have to take a small amount of lead nitrate into test tube and now heat on the flame when we heat this lead nitrate it will be convert or break down into lead oxide plus nitrogen dioxide plus oxygen when you heating lead nitrate then a brown color gas will be evolved it is very very important it is very very important reaction when you heat lead nitrate then brown color gas will be evolved from the test tube so this type of reaction came in the category of decomposition reaction and the gas which is evolved from the test tube is called nitrogen dioxide which color gas is it it is brown color gas second one electric decomposition reaction the reaction which takes place in the presence of electric current or electricity is called electric decomposition reaction for example water breakdown of water when water will be break down it will be changed into hydrogen and oxygen if two molecule of water will be break down then two molecule of hydrogen and one molecule of oxygen will be formed so the question will be asked in the exam examination that when the water will break down then which gases will be formed so our answer is hydrogen and oxygen and it will form in the ratio of 2 ratio 1 in the ratio of 2 ratio 1 
Next one is light decomposition reaction. The reaction which takes place in the presence of sunlight. So it is the one of the reaction which takes place in the presence of sunlight. When sunlight will be come out, come on that particular substance, the substance will be divided into two different different substance. For example, decomposition of silver chloride. So the formula of silver chloride is AgCl. This AgCl will be break down into silver and chlorine. So these three are the types of decomposition reaction. You can take the screenshot of the given content and we will see some of the questions related to our today's topic. So my dear students, this is our question for today's class. So first question is a solution of a substance X is used for white washing. Now you all are thinking that what do you mean by white washing? Actually what happened in ancient time or in some of the village the particular people are taking the solution of calcium oxide and they are applying this solution on the wall. When this particular solution come in the contact of carbon dioxide, the layer of calcium carbonate will be appear on the wall and the wall becomes shiny. This particular phenomena is called white washing. So our question is what? A solution of substance X is used for white washing. A name the substance X and write its formula. So the substance which is used in the white washing, we know that if you want to make lime water or if you want to make slag lime or calcium hydroxide, we will use only one and one compound that is calcium oxide. So calcium oxide compound X equal to calcium oxide. Its other name is quick lime. B. Write the reaction of the substance X named in A above with water. So, when this calcium oxide will be reacted with water, will be reacted with water, it will form calcium hydroxide. And this substance is also called slag lime. It is also called slag lime. This is used for whitewashing in many houses. And Second one is why is the amount of gas collected in one of the test tube in activity 1.7? Activity 1.7 we have seen the breakdown of water. In activity 1.7 double of the amount collected in other. Name this case. So we know that when breakdown of water will take place, water will be break down into hydrogen and oxygen gas. H2O will be break down into H2 plus O2 but this equation is not balanced if you want to balance it then we have to multiply by 2 this side to maintain the oxygen here is 2 oxygen here we have to make 2 oxygen also now the number of hydrogen will be changed to this of 4 so we have to write here 2 so you can see here 2 molecule of water form Two molecule of hydrogen and one molecule of oxygen. Is it clear? So the answer is here. In the test tube, in activity 1.7, double of the amount gas collected, amount collected in other. So name this gas. So in one in one test tube, we are collecting hydrogen. And in another test tube, we are collecting oxygen. The amount of hydrogen is double than the amount of oxygen. So this is our today's question. You can take the screenshot of this content. So my dear students, these are the questions for today's topic. And some of the reactions which are remaining, we will do in our next part. If you have any doubt regarding to this particular topic or particular question, you can ask me or write in the comment box which is given behind my video. And one more request to all of you that please subscribe my channel and please place the like button if you like this video. Thank you so much.